holding on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. I'm your man Chef Andy. Today we're doing an unboxing of the Smoke AL85, the little baby alien. Ah, yes, I finally got one. Ah, all right. I really am looking forward to trying this one out. Uh, I've got everything already uh, pulled out of the box just so we could go through it a little quicker. Um, also, in addition, I did put a little bit of juice in there for the sake of being able to just kind of give a puff or two and review on this video. Uh, without further ado, let's just dive right on down. But before I do, um, I'm just going to hit some bullet points. The tech specs will be down below for you to review. Uh, I want to try to make this a short and informative little video for you guys without keeping you around, you know, too long and boring you. So without further ado, now let's go ahead and dive on down into the box and what it should have. All right, so, of course, the mod. The tank is a TFB8 baby. The baby tank, yeah, baby. It's got a V8 uh, baby Q2 coil, which is already installed in there. That's got a 0.4 sub-ohm. Um, we also have another coil right there. That's the uh, 0.6 sub-ohm. Um, let's see, USB cable coolio by the way on this one here i'm going to put the box right over here uh, on this one here you don't have to take the battery out to charge it um, you can charge it by leaving the battery in there and hooking up the usb cable it also comes with a little card for those of you who might not know how or what a good battery is and to put it the, the battery in the correct way without being all corrosive and keeping your machine safe. They've included a little card. I would pay attention to this, especially if you're a new person uh, that's going into this realm where you're not having a battery that's uh, that's inside the the, uh, the mod itself where you don't have to replace it. Um, then you want to know what your battery should look like. This is a good little card to put in there. Okay, so it uh, takes an 18650 battery. It does not come included, but that's okay. I'm using an EFS 2500 mod battery with a 35 amp high drain. That's what I'm going to be putting in there. User manual. Authenticity card. And a baggie of toys and extras right in there. Uh, everything that you need, pretty much. So, without uh, a further ado, I'm going to take that cap off, and in there you'll see a, like a plus sign. That's for you to put your positive end of your battery into that chamber down. You'll take the cap, you're going to put it back up on there, and the screen should come on in just a second, I should say per se. South Park reference, per se. All right. Standard five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Standard five on, five off. I have mine at 60 watts. It goes up to 85 watts. You do have the option, however, to toggle over to temperature. I'm not a big temperature guy. I'm a big wattage guy. So, uh, but it has that capability for you. I like it while, yes, my hand swallows it up a little bit. You can feel that it's really tightly, nicely bundled. Um, I take that to be kind of a sign of durability. I love it. Uh, it does look like you have a little extra space there. So you could probably go with a little bit wider or, or a little more uh, circumference of a tank there. Sorry for me. Bleh. Sometimes I get tongue-tied. So anyway, there she be. Uh, I don't think I missed anything. Did I miss anything? No, I did not. All right. Again, um, I'm going to put the tech specs down below in an effort to uh, kind of save you some time. Just wanted to get to the nuts and bolts. I did put a little bit of my own DIY uh, juice in there for the sake of this video just so that we could... Uh, 
uh, give it a whirl or two. Ah, check it out. Ask me if I have a new coil. Why, yes, I do. What a noob I am today. Eh. All right. Holy moly. Mmm. That has got a pretty nice little cloud on it. I'm not mad at that at all. That's pretty cool. Again, I have it at 60 watts. Make sure I have enough juice in there. Alright, I'm going to pump it up just a little. I'm going to go to 70. I'll probably dial it back down to 60. But let's just check it out. Oh! That's a monster little machine there. It is. Uh, the fire button right off the bat, I notice it's, it's pretty tight in there, which is good. That keeps that, that fire button from not going out sooner than it needs to. And I, I like the, that it has the baby beast tank. Th these are uh, quickly growing to be some of my faves. Uh, on some of my other machines, I've even gone the way of the RBA and put them on there, and I've had no trouble whatsoever. Um, I actually, I, you can hear, we can see one of my other machines, same thing, I've got the Tesla in that one, and I've got a, a Baby Beast. Uh, I really love that tank. Um, I am not mad at that at all. You know what, folks? This is a keeper. I like it. I like it. And I would like you all to know that I say that with my own free will, and I'm going to put a uh, card up there as a disclaimer. Um, I give my own opinion, period, end of report. Uh, nobody has paid me to do these, these videos. Um, and I, I genuinely think that this is probably going to be one of my everyday little machines that uh, when I travel out and about out of the house, I could see this being satisfying that need. Um, cool. Hey, we'll check it out. Uh, we're going to get out of here. Again, this is the uh, AL85 Little Alien by Smoke. Go out and get it. Tech specs down below. And uh, if you got any questions or any comments, please, by all means, like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And send me a, a message, and I promise you that I will get back to you ASAP. Until then... Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the sky, deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.